In this video, uh, we're going to show you how to do uh, some reverse engineering with the CMM. I've got a plate set up, and what I did, I uh, basically just set it up, and I've got a wrench over here. It's just a random part that we have, and all we're going to do is just set it up. I'm just using this block as a spacer. And what we're going to do, we're going to trace this part with the CMM, and then we're going to take the points that we gather and run it through Mastercam and get about a thousand points or so, a couple thousand points, and we're going to draw it from Mastercam. So we'll actually have a part in Mastercam right here that resembles this. And there's a picture right here of what we'll have in Mastercam. But we're going to start at this point here with uh, the Hellmill CMM Geomap Reverse Engineering. So this, these are the instructions we're going to use to do this. Okay, so I probably want to take my calibration sphere off. So I can get a little more room. I'll gently lay this down back here. And you see our probe head here. We're actually going to take this off. Okay, because probe head won't allow us to do the reverse engineering. It picks up points. So this is a probe head. Whatever you do, don't drop this. It's about $2,000, so we don't want to drop this. I'm going to gently lay it back here with the probe head. And we do want to put a rubber band around this cable. We don't want this cable touching anything. We'll short something out and be in big trouble. And I'll have a problem and I'm going to fix the machine. So we're going to just take this cable and rubber band it to the side. And now we're going to use a solid probe like this. It's just a 3 8 shank with a, um, I think it's a quarter inch ball on the end of it. Not for sure. Let me double check ball size. Nope, it's a 5 16 ball, 312 and a half. Okay, so we'll put this in here like this. And we're just going to barely snug it down. Don't have to kill it. So there's basically what we're going to have, a solid shank, uh, 5 16 ball, 3 inch shaft. And we're just basically going to drag that around the part, and it's going to pick up points as we go. So we have to change this while the power is off. Okay, so now we're going to power it up. Because if we pull this, unplug it, and then plug it back up, or if it touches something, it could short it out. So we want to make sure that's pointed away from something, pointed away from everything, actually. And put our probe in, and we're just about ready. I'm going to go ahead and set the Z about where I want it, about right there. And we'll block our Z in place so it doesn't move, because we're basically going to drag it around the part. See, we can still move it X and Y, but the Z is locked in place. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go over here to GeoMed again. Uh, as soon as our little hour gas blast goes away. I think I'll maybe raise this up because we couldn't think of it. I think we need the home. Click on GeoMed. There we go. We'll set home so that the machine knows where everything's at. Now we'll go ahead and pull this out. Drop it down to our Z level where we want it. About there looks good. We'll lock it down. And this is uh, project number something. I think it's 20. Project 20, reverse engineering. There we go. So up here at the top, we're going to put project 20. And we'll put reverse engineering under part name. and everything else is fine. I'll hit accept. Um, but now I'm not going to use any of these probe tips, so we're going to go ahead and hit next. And on this page here where it says qualify the sphere, we're going to, where it says ball, we're going to hit the drop down box and we're going to hit enter diameter. Okay, and then we're going to hit next. Now I'm going to put in the diameter of the sphere that we're using, the probe. Is 0 0.3125, 312 and a half is 5 sixteenths. And I'm going to pick on that one. I'll select that, hit set active, and now it knows what stylus I have. Okay, so I'm going to look at the instructions here. I don't do this a whole lot, so I'm going to look at the instructions. Um, and we'll go to measure geo tracer. Click on measure at the top, and down a little further than halfway is geo tracer. 
you want to set the target distance between points at 10 thousandths, maximum data points per line at 500, and we're going to click OK. Now when we hit the space bar, that's how we're actually going to turn this on and activate it. Okay, so we've got everything set. Uh, down at the bottom left, it says probe disabled. We want to make sure we see that current status, probe disabled. So it knows that the probe is disabled. We will lock the Z in place, and whenever I hit the space bar, it's going to start uh, gathering points as we go. So what I'm going to do is just start right at this front section here, and if I overshoot coming back, it's not a big deal. Okay? The key is to hold it steady against the part all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to hit the space bar. Now it's going to start picking up points. You see at the bottom right of the screen, which uh, you probably can't see it, but it's up to 50 points, 60, and as I go around the corner, I'm going very slow because it's going to make a sharp turn here, and it's going to go in the Y direction now. Okay, so we're just moving in the Y direction, and I'll try to get out of the way so you can see. And all I'm doing is holding the probe against the part. Okay, so we want to be very careful, not overshoot. And I'm just holding the probe right against the part. And now I'm going to come back, get my hand out of the way, come back around the right side in this large arc. And you see we're up to 450 points now. And now it's starting all over once it gets to 500. So once we get to the, this side here, we're going to go inside, inside, and then we're going to try to hold it against it. And we're going to pick up points on the inside. There we go. Now we're just going around the part. You can see we're up to about 300 points again. And we're still going just fine. Dragging it around on the inside of the part. And all of this is going to give us a lot of points on the master cam. And we'll use master cam to splat all those points together. Splatting, uh, splatting. Splatting is basically just hooking all the points together to make a line. And then when we get done with that, we'll just delete our dots, and then we'll have lines. So that's how we can take a part and duplicate that part on the CNC machine by using a CMM. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make this last curve back out. And I'm going to come back toward me, and we are done. And I'm going to stop right there. I'll hit the space bar. Okay, there we go. And if you can see on the screen, which you probably can't, you can see there is our part on the screen. Okay. So what I want to do is if I want to make a part coordinate system somewhere on this part, I can move the probe over to this corner and I can actually hit shift in the ICS-PCS key and PCS1 is established. So we just put a part coordinate system on this. So now the second step is to save all of this uh, as an IGES file and bring it up in Mastercam. So the way I save it, what I'm going to do is go to File and Export. So I'm going to go ahead and get my probe out of the way, lock everything down here. Okay, we're good. So we have actually one, two, two lines of 500 points and one line of 420. So we have 1,420 points, which is not as many as I thought. Okay, so now let's go to File and export and once we get to export we're going to select how we want uh, the points gathered what points we want uh, we want to save all of our points here uh, we'll save actually we can just save everything and on the right side we have a choice from ASCI2 I just IGES or DXF. So we're going to save it as an IGES. That's probably the easiest to bring up at Master Game. So we're going to save it as an IGES. And um, sorting tools, leave it a part number. Uh, and what we'll do now is hit export now. And we'll tell it where we want to go. We're going to send it out. And we're going to put it on a USB drive, a flash drive, a zip drive. 
save it as an address on the zip drive, and then we're going to take it over to Mastercam, bring it up, and then chain all the points together. Okay, so we'll move over to Mastercam now and see what it looks like.